Attention, the following video is going to totally kick ass if you enjoy any of it and or have a large <laughs> Please click the sub and like button below. Enjoy. Being healthy, or the win. Donic is my Jesus latest Christ, normal. Slide, this is an intro. Hey YouTube, SCH4 here. So tonight, me and Game Mario are be reacting to Bruce Du playing hooky. Now I I just discovered this video by my friend Super Mario Gaming Zero Zero One. I was like, ooh, nice channel. So I figured I should react to it. So yeah, I, uh, just make sure you watch the original video first. Um, make sure you sub down below. Make sure you sub to the channel. Make sure you sub to my friend. And uh, I'll let Gamer do his introduction. Three, two, one. Yo, it's your boy. Yo, it's your boy SGM4. And today, I, I, uh, today we'll be react. Uh, right, uh, today I'm with Zach, and today we'll be react to. Um, oh, dang it. Bruce still playing hooky. Ah. Uh, Bruce still playing hooky. Hey, hey, um, and uh. uh uh, we will be at this. Uh, um, hey, um, here's like what I was doing. Rapping. Uh, z z z yeah, 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 rapping. Why can't you out in your for intros? I only do, I, yeah, I only do an SMG four days. Which is sad, because, you know, it's fun that way. Um, but anyways, I hope. Uh, just oh, let's get out to the video. Three, two, one, go. All right. Now I think it's safe to say that most of us were guilty of playing hooky at some point when we were kids. No. You young I never kids, did. Hooky is where you skip school and you stay at home. I know it sounds like some old-fashioned phrase. No, I never done that. No. Uh. What are you playing hooky from school today? Nobody knows what the hell you're talking about, Uncle Rick. No wonder why you haven't felt the touch of a woman since the 1980s. <laughs> I have to admit, playing hooky was a nice little break from school, and you needed that sometimes because it's hard when you're a kid. You wake up at the ass crack of dawn. You're all stressed out right from the get-go. Ah, uh, hell, I got a math test today. It's a I hate math. Operations crap that I haven't been paying attention to all week. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally and shit. I don't know what I'm going to school today. I'm going to pretend so that's what Pepsi stands for. You got to try to figure out a way to give yourself an artificial fever. So you go and rest your fucking forehead on a light bright. Try to raise your body temperature up to a solid 101, 102. That's not how it works. Room and lie straight to your mom's face. Hey, uh, I don't feel very good and um, I've been pooping Mom, a lot. Been I don't feel so good. How much is a lot? Like uh, six... 16 times? 16 times? Holy hell, we need to get you to the hospital! Whoa, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Alright, maybe not that much, but, uh, my head feels really hot, though. Good lord, you are burning up, and you smell like hot plastic for some reason. <laughs> not going to school today. Alright, mission accomplished, you did it. You tricked your gullible-ass mom into letting you stay home from school. So now you're laying on the couch like it's your own fucking personal gurney. You don't even have the decency to change out of your Hong Kong fooey pajamas, for Christ's sake. Your mom's serving you Pepto-Bismol by the gallon. Make sure you drink all this. It'll slow down all those shitty ass Escapades you've been having. Why? Most people hate the taste of Pepto Bismol. But when I was a kid, I loved that weird pink milk. What shit. the hell? My top three favorite drinks when I was a kid would be like Mountain Cooler Capri Sun, Pepto Cooler High C, and then fucking boom, Pepto Bismol somewhere in between. Okay, I wow. Well. My stomach starts going. Blah, 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 blah. I get all excited because now I have a reason to drink some goddamn Pepto Bismol. Shit's good. I don't care. You should serve that shit at restaurants. I'll have the roast duck and a glass of Pepto served up with a twist. Good choice, huh? Anyways, what the hell was I talking about? Goddamn, go off on a fucking tangent on Pepto Bismol. Oh yeah, playing hooky from school. So there you are, laying on the couch like a slug, pretending you have typhus and shit. Well now, what are you supposed to do? Well, you watch shitty daytime TV is what you do. And shitty daytime TV had all sorts of things to offer. You'd have your talk shows like your Mari Povich, where they do paternity <laughs> tests on the daily. There ain't no way I'm that baby's daddy, Mari. Why? You are not Nina. the father. Is that John Cena? <laughs> I don't think so. And then after that, you'd have some dramatic ass soap operas that my mom was totally fascinated by. On the next episode of The Young and the Worthless. She be sleeping in his room instead? Your baby. With all the men you've been with, Veronica, there's no way I'm that baby's father. Hell, you probably f a pack of hot dogs. What? Look at you the right way. <laughs> Veronica would too. She's such a fucking slut. Uh, yep, she sure is. But out of all the bullshit TV shows that were on during the day, there was one show that beat the hell out of all the others. And that show, of course, was The Price is Right. 
Now, the Price is Right had everything. You got fucking Plinko, people winning Ford Escorts and shit, Bob Barker yelling at you to get your goddamn pets fixed. And remember, to help control the pet population, chop your dog's fucking balls off as soon as you can. You got people being assholes, outbidding each other by $1 and shit. Ah, uh, 600 Bob. Very well, what's your bid? Uh, how about 601 Bob? Oh, what the fuck? Ooh, that's some shiesty shit. Actual retail price, 650 Oh, mother f- are you fucking serious? God, God damn it. You're a fucking piece of shit. This Imagine it was six nine nine. By Oscar Mayer hot dogs. Hot dogs so good, y'all. What up? But after the Price is Right was over, I knew it was all downhill from there. Because I knew it was only a matter of time before my dad got home from work, and then the jig was up. Whoa, what the hell? What's the kid doing home from school? Ah, uh, he was sick, so he stayed home. What? What the hell? That kid ain't sick. Did you throw up or something? Uh, no. You've been putting your fucking forehead on that light bright again, haven't you? Uh-oh. Yeah, you better take your playing hooky ass to school tomorrow, I tell you what. So the next day, you in 4K. School, and of course you have to start bragging to all your friends about your day off the day before. Hey, asshole, why weren't you at school yesterday? Oh, well, what? because I was too busy watching the Price is Right, and... And fucking really? all day, that's why. Oh, well, you're an idiot. We had a pizza party yesterday. Wait, what? It was yesterday? Yeah, and then we had an assembly in the auditorium. Oh, what damn. The hell? And the guest speaker was Randy Macho Man Savage. What the fuck? Are you serious? Oh, yeah. Snap into a sleep. <laughs> oh, God damn it. What have I done? So the moral of the story is simple. One, don't be an asshole and lie to your mom. Two, learn the goddamn orders of operation. And three, take your truant ass to school like you're supposed to. Because you never know when a two-time WWF head Yeah, you'll miss some stuff. Speaker at your school. Oh, yeah. Snap into a slim gym. Who wants to touch my biceps? The fuck? BruceDude.com Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed that weird video of playing hooky. Uh, yeah. By Bruce, too. I have... Wow. Alright. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see y'all later. Peace. Stay healthy for the win.